Environmental concerns are pushing the oil and gas industry to do its part to cut methane emissions. And this month, the U.S. government announced a new goal on that front. CCTV's Ginger Vaughn has more from Houston on the progress being made. The Eagle Ford Shale Basin. As satellite photos revealed, it's one of three U.S. shale oil fields, leaking around 10 percent of the gas they produce, most of it methane. That's more than three times what it ought to be to qualify as green energy. For the climate, you want to make absolutely certain that the leakage from everything, from the drilling to the actual combustion, doesn't exceed 3 percent. Otherwise, you might as well burn coal. That's why the White House says in the next 10 years, it wants to cut methane emissions by as much as 45 percent from their 2012 levels. Some U.S. drilling operations may have already reached this goal or are getting close to it. In 2014, slant drillers working Ohio's Utica Shale Formation have cut methane emissions by 55 percent from their 2013 levels. The Andarco Basin drilling in Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle cut emissions by 34 percent. Emissions from the Eagle Ford Basin dropped 18 percent. Atmospheric chemist Russell Dickerson questions that data, but he believes the White House targets are realistic. So these are engineering problems. You have to have the political will and the wherewithal to do it, but these are solvable problems. Industry wants to solve this problem too. Leaking gas has lost money. We want uh, to capture more of this methane to uh, be able to bring it to market and sell to consumers to heat their homes and, and, and provide power and power facilities across the nation. Um, but we also want to uh, have a clean environmental uh, record here. Here in the unofficial energy capital of the world, the as yet unwritten rules could cut into profits at a time when oil prices couldn't be more unstable. By some estimates, the break even point for producing Eagle Ford Shale oil is around 50 U.S. dollars a barrel. This week, one of the world's benchmarks, West Texas Intermediate Oil, has been selling below $44 and could fall even further. Ginger Vaughn, CCTV, Houston.